And Yo, this art going. style Very looks good. so dope. Be, uh, oh, and, the uh, tricks! We're going to be tricks. jumping into some gameplay. Uh, sort of mountain-based oh. uh, ski resort. Oh, kind of he dodged there. that bullet. Major that was sick. What to do, what it is, what it was. It's your boy, G. Check it. Oh, we're about to get into in this video. We are reacting to the roller drone walkthrough gameplay video but before we get into all of that y'all already know what you got to do you got to hit the subscribe button you got to hit the bell icon that way you get notified when i'm posting new content all the dang time and you gotta hit the like button for this video that way it pushes this video and this channel into the youtube algorithm and real quick while i have you i just want to let you know i live stream every thursday starting at 6 p.m we are getting into it so if you want to chill with your boy see playthroughs have some good laughs good vibes good fun then i'll see y'all there that's right y'all we are reacting to the roller drone gameplay walkthrough video and this one caught my attention right away when i saw the state of play from this past june roller, okay roller skates Ooh, oh yo this is giving me jack ryan radio vibes but we're gone i'm telling you sony has killed it this year and letting us know what is coming up and this was on that lineup the graphics look so different and so dope. You're on rollerblades. I mean, you already got me sold on that because I'm a big inline skating and rollerblading fan. And then on top of all that, people are saying that this is a game that's like Tony Hawk meets Max Payne meets Jet Grind Radio. It's like, come on. I, I mean, I'm sold on that. Now I got to know what the heck is this game about? Because at the state of play, it just showed a lot of cool stuff, but that didn't really tell us much about the game. So this is going to tell us hopefully a little bit more about what this game is really all about and what's going on. So without any more dilly dying, let's get spicy with some roller drone gameplay walkthrough action. Woo! Subscribe. All right, y'all, so we're ready to go. But before we get into this, I'm going to tell you this right now. Number one, if this has any hint of Jet Grind Radio vibes in it, like other people are saying that I'm telling you right now, I'm already sold because that is one of my favorite games of all time on the Sega Dreamcast. And I've been dying for something like that. So if this has any elements of that, then I'm, I'm all for it. Number two, I'm just going to be condensing this video because it's a little long and I don't want to waste your time and I just love showing the highlights. But if it's all dope, then it's all going on here. So let's not dilly-dally anymore. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim here. I'm joined by Gillen. Hey there. And we are so excited to be checking out Roller Drome. We are joined by Andreas Yanikaris, who is lead designer on Roller Drome at Roll7. Hey, Andreas, Yo, this how's it art going? style looks good, so dope. Oh, and, uh, the tricks! We're going to be tricks. jumping into some gameplay that has been pre-recorded and provided by Roll7 here for us to, to dive into. Can you tell Yo, us a little I'm bit also about getting what hints of right 13 now, up in here. The game this takes place. This is the fourth level in the game. It's taking place in the Houston Mall, which is a fictional mall set somewhere in possibly America. The game sort of takes place in the near future, 2030, and it's like a televised blood sport where you've got these competitors. In our case, we've got our Kara Hassan here with a helmet and a red jumpsuit, and then you've got all these house players. Ooh. So at this point Ooh. in the game, you know, we're, we're introducing different house players slowly, and uh. you can see there, there's like a few guys stood around some baseball bats. They're like a sort of grunt enemy, like pretty low level, just don't get near oh. them and you probably won't take any damage. Not guys you want to run into in a mall anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can speak on that in a moment, but actually, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bit of Yo, that is so Tony that. Hawk right there. Um, it is it's going like completely sort of vertical and then start grinding out of nowhere. Have, like, just talking about some of the mechanics that we're seeing on screen here. Maybe we'll kick off with the combo meter on the right hand side. So how does that work in the game? Obviously, all your tricks and grinds and various sort of skating feats will score points. Uh, the combo is actually incremented Smooth. by making kills, right? So every, you see here, every time uh, Kara makes a kill on screen, that number is going to increment. And so, uh, you know, there's always a timer. You can see, like, the fill on the number is basically, like, your countdown before your combo times out and it, it gets banked. But uh, doing damage to enemies will like kind of top the timer up to keep it going. And conversely, taking damage from enemies will deplete it. So basically, Ooh. you know, these, this is just reinfor reinforcing all the things we want the player to do. We want them to damage and kill enemies to get the combo. We want them to do tricks to get score. And we want them to avoid taking damage. And if they do all those things, they're going to get big scores, big combos, 
and perform well. That's gonna bear like bear, you know, they're gonna the, the, within the section oh, of the sport. Oh, that was sick! Upside was, down. Run. Got you. That's cool. And obviously, as just keep moving seems to be the thing as well. Oh, go through the glass. Some yeah. Dodges. Um, and is that players are gonna have to dodge around a lot and. Yeah, there's a there's a dodge button. They can use it pretty much in any scenario where they're there. Oh, just I love the wall grinds. Grinding, whether they're airborne, they can they can always ah. pull a dodge, and they're going to be using that a lot to uh, avoid taking damage from enemy attacks. And uh, you can also use it to like make Ooh. quick sort of directional changes to your movement. My boy hit the ah. around as well. <laughs> We've jumped to another Ooh, look level at this map. here. So where are we now in terms of uh, oh. arenas? Yeah, so this is the, uh, I think it's called the Eager Resort. Uh, this is level seven. Oh, I like this. In the game, things have stepped up a little notch here. We're up in a sort of, uh, sort of mountain-based oh! uh, ski resort. Oh, he dodged that bullet. You know, that was the, sick. The so there you have it. There's the gameplay walkthrough of Rollodrome. I'm kind of surprised that this game is coming out so soon on August 16th because although they showed us some stuff, they didn't really show us a lot. Like, again... It's kind of dope that they do have those elements of Tony Hawk. I think it's more Tony Hawk than anything else, at least when it comes to the grinding and the tricks and all that stuff and the max pain with the shooting and the explosions. And then Jet Grind Radio, like there's a hint of it, mainly because you're on rollerblades. There's not really much else. You know, the music is not there. The graffiti art is not there. So it's not really like that. But all that to say is that there's not much else going on. So is this a multiplayer game? Are we battling each other? Is there a story to this i don't know what this game is really about but tell me in the comment section down below what do you think of this game so far is this something you're gonna pass is something that you're interested in is something that you just would like to know more about what are things about this game that you wish that this game has and hopefully it, it happens when it drops all right just checked it out there is no price point on the game yet but let me know down below, what do you think this game is worth for what they showed so far? If you guys haven't done so already and you made it thus far, here's your reminder. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon because we're on, because the, road we're on the road to 500, 500 subscribers by the end of the year. The year. Oh, oh, hell yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces. Bye.